Hey everyone, this is Keith Snyderman from Reality Based Fitness, and this is part two of a video series that corresponds to a blog on dysfunctions of the big toe that I'm currently working on. And I just wanted to give a little comment, little commentary on orthotic devices for for uh, for this specific dysfunction of limitation of range of motion here, uh, hallux hallux limitus, hallux rigidus, or functional hallux limitus. There's are three different diagnoses that just sort of depend on the the level of degeneration that's seen ra radiographically or on an x-ray at this joint right here. Uh, there's two kind of schools of thought with with orthotics. Obviously podiatrists and a lot of rehabilitation professionals are in the business of uh, selling orthotics so often they're gonna recommend them and they they often do help. Uh, most everybody has heard of, of pronation and the importance of getting an orthotic to reduce the prone the pronatory forces that can happen during gait which can cause uh, internal rotation of the tibia and kind of work its way up and cause a host of problems but pronation is also a very natural part of the gait cycle it's only when you spend too much time uh, primarily in, in, in this midfoot here uh, which can be combined with sort of an eversion or a, a lateral motion of the calcaneus here and then th what this does is it disrupts this windlass mechanism that I talked about in in the first video which is so important for sort of the propulsive phase of gait so specifically for problems of the big toe there's a couple of different devices in in my studies for this uh, this this article one of them specifically is an orthotic that has what's called the reverse Morton's extension which is what I have here the one I got made which is to help to unload the um, the big toe that that first ray specifically this joint here but it helps improve the function of this first ray so that you can get that proper propulsive effect it, it, it primarily I guess it helps to to stop some of the jamming that can occur in this joint and that's definitely what I'm getting with uh, with with my joints here specifically my left one is I'm I'm getting a jamming, so I don't I don't wear these a lot except when I'm going to be walking, and especially on pavement or hard surfaces, I find walking uh, irritates my calves and can cause some issues even up into my hamstrings if I walk for you know 45 minutes plus. Um, so sometimes I will wear them. And of course, I've been trying to wear the Vibram five finger shoes more often, and going barefoot. Um, some podiatrists will say that's a bad idea because you're just going to be jamming the joint. Uh, I don't have an excessive amount of degeneration yet on or in this joint, so I'm not kind of throwing in the towel yet. Uh, I'm really trying to see if I can restore some of the mobility, not just here, but in this midfoot and even up in the uh, tip fib joint and all the way up higher up in the chain. So there's a lot of uh, kind of interaction above and below happening with the foot, but most of the problem really that I'm having is in this in this first ray and the pain really being here which is leading to some Achilles problems uh, in both of my legs and primarily uh, it's been my left one but there's some other devices that I've researched that seem to be pretty effective for problems of the first ray and this uh, first metatarsal phalangeal joint one of them is called the cluffy wedge you can uh, look that up and there's another one called the kinetic wedge which uh, seems kind of promising and uh, these are devices that are supposed to help this uh, this windlass mechanism improve the function of this first ray while unloading uh, this first uh, metatarsal phalangeal joints off I encourage you to google those look look those up uh, if you're really having some problems here you might want to talk to a rehabilitative professional who is familiar with these devices but I think it's really important to get a really thorough assessment of your specific condition and not just just jump into an orthotic uh, especially something that's just sort of cheaply made or kind of an over-the-counter thing if you're really gonna do it you want to do it right you might need to invest in something that's more specific for this type of condition but if, if there's not a lot of uh, of arthritis I my first uh, bet would be to try to get some joint mobs here 
try to get some soft tissue work and really see if you can restore the natural uh, gliding motions here which are called accessory joint motions. There's a gliding motion that needs to happen in order for this this uh, this gait cycle to happen here and this dorsiflexion is primarily called a dorsal glide and there's there's lots of mobilization techniques that can be done by a competent therapist. Mulligans is one that comes to mind. Uh, just a lot of your basic uh, joint mobs that come from guys like Jeffrey Maitland and some of the uh, European Kaltenborn, Freddie Kaltenborn. There's a whole host of uh, of, of, of real gurus and uh, joint manipulation and see if you can hook up with some therapists, physiotherapists, osteopaths, maybe even chiropractors that are trained in those therapies that can try to help restore this motion and then you've got to be working on some of the daily uh, mobility exercises, stretches, soft tissue work, um, maybe even up as high as breathing, breath work and restoring balance to the pelvis, maybe even as high as the neck. I mean this really is a body-wide problem that can uh, kind of be combined with this this dysfunction so hopefully that gives you some uh, some food for thought orthotics uh, I think I've jumped into a little too early but they can definitely be uh, a godsend for some people who have some real problems at at this toe and then of course you've got the whole barefoot population that really is into the barefoot thing and that might be a option to try as well but you really need to explore your options first before you just jump into one or the other. I hope this has been helpful. This is Keith Snydman from realitybasedfitness.com.